My name is Mark, and people know me on the trail as Tupac. Hey, come on a quest with me as I continue to hike along the Appalachian Trail. It should be a real big adventure. Good morning, it's uh, August 2nd, and we're climbing up Bromley Mountain. And this is actually a ski slope. If you see over there, there's the pipes to make snow. And we're going directly up the ski slope to the top. And there's the ski lift, the top of the ski lift. And then there's another trail goes down that way. It was pretty cold last night. I had my liner and my sleeping bag all hunched around me and I was still pretty cold. Uh, Betcha was down in the 40s somewhere. Uh, hope I brought enough warm clothes for New Hampshire and Maine. Uh, it's starting to get chilly already. We're headed up to Stiles Peak. Uh, the trail has gotten considerably drier. Not as much mud. And here's our view from Stiles Peak. Ooh, that was a climb. So I am hiking now with Ranger One and uh, the other guys decided to stop and uh, grab a mo motel in town and uh, had to climb up this big rock face to get to the top. This beautiful stream with golden water. You can look right down in it and see the bottom. I'm going over a bridge now. Can you introduce yourselves? Hi, good morning. I am Hope It Doesn't Rain. Good morning. I'm Holler. And uh, how'd you get the name Holler? Uh, there were some other hikers that we were walking with, and they came into camp, and I greeted them. And then the next day, we saw them at the knock, or a couple days later, and one of them just told me my name ought to be Holler. And my wife looked at me and said, she approved. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So what did you all do to prepare for the trail? <laughs> oh my gosh well last year i turned 60 so i uh, registered for a number of endurance events so open water swims which doesn't really help you with hiking um, but did a lot of cycling and as much running as i could um, i think people will tell you that nothing prepares you for hiking like hiking so my preparation probably wasn't as good as Holler's. Uh, over the last several months, I came out, did a few section hikes, but a lot of times I'll, I'll uh, be outside walking in the woods, uh, messing with firewood, hunting. So uh, kind of have fun just being out in the woods, just not carrying a backpack all the time. I hear that. <laughs> but hiking up and down the hills. Oh, yeah. Plenty in of hills. southern Indiana. Yeah, those are almost, yeah, those, those can be called hills. And what would you say is your favorite part of the trail? <laughs> uh, the uh, interesting quote, uh, I, guess, I guess a, uh, a person from Europe left in a trail log was, you know, I can't wait to get to camp, but I never want the hike to be over. I guess I'm ready for the hike to be over. Going back and thinking about the hike, there's been a part of each day that has been wonderful and a part that, you know, it's just, it's a grind. You just got to do it. Um, I think we both agree that the Grayson Highlands is always a highlight, um, but there have been some awesome views. So the top of Mount Everett and the uh, ledges, or the race ledges, yeah, race ledges, yeah, yeah, that's been pretty we, we, stunning. We went across those on a on a clear day, and uh, there wasn't any Canadian smoke, and it was just amazing, amazing. Okay. Is there anything you're struggling with at the on the trail? Uh, nonstop. Non-stop, I have right right foot discomfort, and I just can't seem to find the right shoes or something on my right foot that, that bugs me, but kind of like glasses, uh, you know, I know I have them, but uh, don't think about them until I don't realize they're there until I think about them. As far as going back to struggle, um, right now, mosquitoes are a struggle for everybody. Mm -hmm. 
The other thing is pack weight. It just seems like, you know, you work so hard to get that base weight down before you leave. And it just slowly creeps up and um, just not getting too much food at resupply. Um, I left with about five days. Holler left last resupply with eight to ten. <laughs> I was like, no, we can't do that anymore. We got to we gotta keep that under control. So, wow. I hear that. Um, is there anybody at home you'd like to say hi to? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I want to say hello to our grandchildren, Caius and Luna. Hi, Caius. Hi, Luna. We miss you guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing you once we get done with our hike. Um, and then just all family and friends back home. Yeah. Yeah, our our kids and their uh, and their 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 husband are uh, yeah, their husbands and wives and uh, and her mother. I think she turns eighty four this week. Yes, she does. Happy um, birthday, mom! Yeah, happy birthday, yeah, mom! Well, happy trails to both of you. Thank you so much for your interview. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Here we are at Little Rock Pond. Nice, nice pond in the middle of the woods. Hello everyone, it's day uh, Thursday, the uh, 3rd of August, and uh, we're heading up towards Rutland, Vermont. We're trying to do some mileage uh, today, uh, up to 19 miles, and get set up to go into Rutland. Uh, for at least half a day and get a hotel there. I'm traveling with Ranger One and uh, we're gonna split a hotel, get a meal, and uh, get some resupply. I did a dumb thing yesterday. I left my headlamp at the uh, outhouse at the uh, shelter in the morning. And so I need to get a new uh, headlamp and also one of the tips off my trekking poles came off. So got to replace that as well. But uh, look how beautiful this forest is. I wish that whole AT could look like this. Coming up on a uh, rock garden. Look at all the white rocks and cairns built up of hikers before. That's pretty wild. Shall we put one on top? Let me find a rock. And let's put it Let's start a new one right down here. There's our rock. Taking a little break at the farm stand. And it's kind of a mixture between produce and cheeses and milk. Uh, hopefully I can get a jug of chocolate milk. Wouldn't that taste good right now? Mm-mm-mm. Well, looky here. We're at uh, 500 miles away from Katahdin. Our final destination. 500, 500 miles more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> August 4th. We made it to 1,700 miles, 500 more miles to go. Uh, last night, I got to the shelter around six o'clock, set up a tent and uh, ate and got to sleep. And then at two o'clock in the morning, a big thunderstorm came through and the uh, tent got wet and muddy. And uh, it wasn't a pleasant morning. My pack weighs about five pounds more with all the water weight and uh, dirt that I'm carrying. But hopefully I can dry out in uh, Rutland at the Yellow Deli. That's where we're headed for. 
Can you all see that? Moose poop on the trail. Hopefully we'll get to see a moose soon. Hey everyone, uh, we're on top of Killington Mountain and uh, thunderstorm started rolling in and we ducked into a shelter. Uh, but it's freezing cold, the wind's blowing and the rain you can see is coming down fierce. Hopefully uh, we can wait it out and uh, get down to Rutland shortly. Here we are at the Yellow Deli. We're gonna stay and eat here in downtown Rutland. Yesterday I took a, uh, well actually I took two falls going down Killington Mountain and one of them I smashed my knuckles, uh, I can show you a picture of it, uh, on the side of a rock and this morning it's uh, pretty swollen. Hopefully I can grip my uh, trekking poles and uh, head back up the mountain. Hey everyone, it's August 5th and uh, had a great stay at the uh, Yellow Deli, had some excellent food. And uh, then we went out for supper and had some cheeseburgers, fries, and uh, a chocolate milkshake at Five Guys. Uh, this morning we went to the local bakery, had a, a bagel with a egg and um, sausage. And uh, we were glad we stayed at a hostel yesterday because yesterday afternoon it just poured rain and it actually had flooding inside the hostel basement. Uh, that's how bad the, the rain came down and the police sirens were going up and down the street because all the water was uh, flooding all the businesses. So uh, we're ready to uh, get a couple miles in today and uh, we've got to catch a bus to the trail which leaves at 8.15 and, uh, and then we'll start hiking. Catch you on the trail.